entering Pullman, you immediately sense the dining car atmosphere. That curved ceiling, stretched counters, and those retro red leather seats. We got this great open kitchen. Our chefs are here right on display for everybody, the long counter like you see at diners. You're gonna see stuff that's traditional breakfast all day, great cheeseburgers, some of that greasy spoon. But then there's also that element of unexpected. Food is plated and presented in different ways that hopefully will surprise you. My goal as a chef is to take these very classic diner dishes and just make them the best we could possibly do that. We'll pull inspiration from a lot of different styles of cooking. What sets us apart is that we really try to do as much we can in-house. Corned beef and hash, we brine it for about two weeks. After that, we cook it in beer overnight. We make our bacon in-house, we're super proud of that. It's cured for several days, and then it's smoked right here in-house. So it's cut and put on the griddle. That attention to detail, that's why it's so popular and why people keep coming back. It's long enough, it is good! What did it feel like being part of the Iowa team? I think the big thing for us as football players was the swarm. We're a close-knit group here in Iowa. It's not only those people holding hands here in the swarm, but it's all 70,000 plus of those fans. It's really something special. You make that field goal, you're just pumped. What would you do? Yeah, I knew how to celebrate a good field goal, you know? It was, uh, it was one part celebration, one part relief, probably, more than anything, but um, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to bring that forward in, in life after football a little bit, too, you know? We got a great thing going here at Pullman, and we always got to kind of remind ourselves. You can go a little bit more outside of your comfort zone, and our culinary team here kind of, you know, thinking, reinventing, thinking, thinking about new different things for brunch. How can we make it more fun? All right, Chef, what are we going to make today? We're going to make a croque madame, which is a fancy ham sandwich covered in cheese with an egg on top. That sounds good. All right, I got sourdough bread. We've got ham. We're just going to get this nice and browned on the griddle. Meanwhile, a single sunny egg. Only one. Only one. And now we wait. Tap and toes. Oh, we wait. They say it's hard being a chef, but I don't know. I make it look easy. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Our ham is griddled. We're going to put lots of cheese on top of this, get it nice and melted. What kind of cheese are we using? We have Gruyere cheese today. Mm, nice yeah. and nutty. Mm. Toast just popped. Cheese is melted. Mm. I'm going to come down this way. And we're going to start building our sandwich. Bread on top. I've got a Mornay sauce. Ooh, Mornay. Which is a, uh, a bechamel sauce with a lot of cheese in it. My sunny egg is perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. How do we finish this baby off? We're going to put a little bit of chive on top. Absolutely. And you cut them nice and yeah. tiny. This is a piece of artwork right here. I want this to be my life. Well, you can put an application. That's uh, We're hiring right now. Croque Madame, which is basically a croque monsieur with? An egg on top. Egg on top. This is just a ham sandwich, highly evolved. Gruyere cheese in there. They're doing it right here. Oh. And you know, there's no timeline on brunch. No matter what time you wake to greet the world, wipe the sleep from your eyes, Pullman's brunch is waiting for you. Mm.